Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Be to your holy name, Lord. Lord, we thank you for such a time as this. I thank you because I know you will minister this word to each and every one of us in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you to the hour of hope and truth. My names are Prophetess Mrs. Roslyn, wife of New Life in Christ Evangelical Ministry Lee. Lord, I thank you for the privilege I humble myself before you, Lord. I'm going to be speaking titled, When God Said, Let My People Go. When God Said, Let My People Go. God meant that word during the time of Israel, Israelites. The Lord told Moses to tell Pharaoh, to allow his people to go for one thing for them to go and serve him so in this time god is releasing this word to my spirit all the time asking me to communicate this word most especially people that that are in captivity in one way or the other they have led yourself into captivity or they are under a place where they have been human captured and the lord is releasing this word is not for only one person as many that have been captured spiritually physically the lord is speaking that let my people go so that they might serve him. And there are a lot of people that have been captured in some places like place of worship or in a gathering, wherever they, you have found yourself and you know you have been captured. The Lord is calling you so that you will come and serve him, come and know him. Because that time is coming when those that must worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. And this is the time the Lord is calling you to come and serve him in truth and in spirit. As many, because God gave me a revelation of a man of God. And this man of God has a very massive church. In that church, there were different, different uh, departments in that church. So I found uh, uh, in that vision, I saw this man of God in a marketplace. He was holding a mic, searching people's bag. So the Lord ministered to me, said, this is what he's ministering for people's bag, what he will collect from people's bag, that is what his ministry stands for. That all those people that are dead, they are just doing their own thing. They are having different, different spirit operating in them. Such people, they are already under captivity. So he used them to satisfy his own selfish purpose. You see, this is what was happening during the time of the children of Israelite. Pharaoh was using the people to satisfy his own selfish purpose. So, so many of you, you have been captured that they are using you or your family to satisfy their own selfish purpose. You say, woman of God, why are you saying this? Yes, the Lord is sending me out to let you know that you have to, you have to be set free. If you are in a place that people are using, men are using you to satisfy their own selfish purpose, that means you are in captivity and you know yourself you are not born again when jesus christ come today you cannot go with him just know that you are you you are in captivity you are in a place that don't preach a word that will make you change you that means you are in captivity and some of you they are using you as an agent of of satan to go to churches to destroy churches you are in captivity because they are using you to go to churches you go from one churches to another to make sure that you put the integrity of that church down or to remove people from church and take it to take them to another church that means you yourself you are in captivity you are being used by the satan you are being used by men you are being used because as the holy spirit god is using his own children to win so that means the satan is already using you to win so that means you are in captivity if you can be used by man 
to do some certain things that is contrary to the will of God, the body of Christ, you are being used. That means you are in captivity. Those are the sign to show that you are in captivity. When you are being used, you, the Holy Spirit is not working you, you, in you. You know quite well that the Holy Spirit is not operating in you. It's the spirit of man that is operating you in you. And there are some people that have left some place of worship. You are being threatened that you will come back. I know you must return back to that church. You must return back to me where you are worshiping. You are not saved. Let me tell you, you are not saved. They give a lot of people threaten. They threaten their life. That means you are already in captivity. You have been captured. So God is calling is saying let my people go and you that have captured people human being you you have captured them you are threatening their lives you are making them as if they are you are making them to feel that they are not saved when they have been delivered by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is telling me to tell you, let the people of God go. Let them go and serve God the way they want to serve him. Because after all, you don't have heaven you are taking them to. You that has been captured, that has been that is being used by uh, the satanic force. The satanic people are using you to fulfill their own purpose. Let me tell you, if you don't repent and you die, you are going to hell. And that is the choice that you have made for yourself no matter the money they have paid you no matter what they have given to you no matter the promises they have given to you know it on that day yes you are going to give account of yourself these people will not be there people will not be there you are being used even if it's what whosoever that is using you let me tell you they will not be there on that day when you'll be standing before the kings of kings to give account of yourself when God said, let my people go, you have to be set free. Your mind, your soul, your spirit has to be set free. Check yourself. Are you being manipulated? Are you under manipulation? Are you being controlled by human beings? Are you being controlled? Are you under control of, uh, of satanic force? And you know it. You carry this thing from churches to churches, home to home, family. You are breaking home. You are breaking families. You are destroying lives. Look at it. God is telling you, let my people go so that they will go and save him. You have captured people's mind. You are going from houses to houses, churches to churches. You are going. Your time is up. God is angry. God is angry. You that is trading with people's life, let me tell you, your time is up. Because when the judgment of God visit. Is coming down. The judgment of God is coming down and is coming down to churches, leaders, uh, members, and all. We are going to see what is going to happen in this end time. Lord, I want to tell you the Lord is calling, let my people go so that they might save him. That is just the purpose. If you are still one of them and you want to repent, say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I accept you as my Lord, a personal Savior. I accept you right now. Be my master and my Lord. From today on, I will not be used by man. I will not be manipulated in Jesus' mighty name. I refuse my manipulation right now. Declare that with all your heart. Say, I refuse my manipulation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have been set free in Jesus' mighty name. Look for a Bible-believing church. The Lord is with you. God bless you. Amen.